Good evening. When thinking about the handbook for any school, I think one of the best passages of scripture to use is Psalm 1. Now, there's many scriptures we can use, but first of all, I want to thank the student who wrote this for us. Thank you. Thank you for the work you've done in all the writings you've done for us this year. But I just want to remind uh, students, no matter what stage of life you're in, whether you're at Lifestem Academy or not, it doesn't matter. But if you're looking for a guide for your life, um, the Bible is the guide. And in Psalm 1, we ha receive a perfect uh, a recipe for how to live a life that makes sense. In Psalm 119, it does talk about the precepts of the Lord and the testimonies and, and you know, the commandments of the Lord. So Psalm 119 is a wonderful passage about, you know, how can a young man keep their, or, or, or young man or woman, how can they keep their way pure? Psalm 119 is an excellent example. But I want to use Psalm 1 as sort of the handbook for how things should work at, at a school or wherever. And the first verse says, Blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the wicked. So the, the person here is blessed, who is very careful who they walk with, right? And then, nor stands in the way of sinners, right? So nor stands in the way of sinners, nor seats in the seat of the scoffers. Blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the ungodly. So who is your counsel? Who are you receiving advice from? Students, no matter what school you attend, no matter where you're at in life, are you seeking godly counsel? Counsel that points to serving God. Are you around people that are giving thanks in all things? Or are you part of those who are complaining about everything? Right? That's something that you need to remember. Um, so blessed is the man who stands not in the counsel of the un who walks not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stands in the way of sinners, nor seats in the seat of scoffers. Again, let us live lives where we are, our focus is on giving thanks for what we've been blessed with. That's the way to live. Um, it, it goes on to say, but his delight is in the law of the Lord. And on his law, he meditates day and night. That correlates or connects with Joshua chapter 1 also, right? Are we meditating on God's law and God's word? Or are we meditating on uh, other things? Are we thinking about things, you know, regarding ourselves that are things that are not true? Or are we focused on what God's word says truth is? So, blessed is the man who stands, who walks not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stands in the way of sinners, nor seats in the seat of the scoffers. Um, it goes on to explain what kind of characteristics will happen from such a person. And so if you have your Bibles, you can turn to Psalm 1. And that's basically what I'm going to start encouraging students to use as their guide. And that's why this is now in the entrance of our school. When you walk into the school, you see the passage right behind me. It talks about how this person will be planted and, and their roots will be grounded and they'll be able to get water and bear fruit in due season. Um, there's a way to live, and I think that this is a great handbook guide for any students at any school, at any level, to remember how to live and who to spend time with. So I'm excited as we make this part of our, you know, sort of focus for every student, which is focusing on seeking to encourage them to be like this person described in Psalm 1. Um, I'm going to go down to the end here. It says, for the Lord knows the way of the righteous, but the way of the wicked will perish. We want the Lord to know our ways. We want to walk in the truth. So this is our guide now and the beginning of our handbook um, uh, uh, focus, which would be encouraging young people to be like the person described in Psalm 1. Have a blessed week. I look forward to seeing some of the students this week, and I hope we finish strong over the next two weeks. Um, as far as any other updates for the week, uh, I'll be sharing that later on, but just wanted to share this verse about the guide for our handbook for the school at Lifestem Academy and all the uh, academies we start, Grand Forks, uh, Oxford, uh, um, uh, Sioux Falls, Minneapolis, Scottsdale, by God's grace, these are some of the cities that will be having academies. Uh, the hybrid portion for homeschool families and the full school portion for five-day uh, students who want uh, uh, five days of school. So stay tuned. Have a blessed week. Take care and God bless.